So when we started doing this class and I suggested uh, that we should use the construction calculators in the class, uh, one of your welding teachers said, well, what if the students step on their calculator and then they, they're not capable of doing fractions without a calculator? So I got an answer for that. You can use your tape measure to do fraction problems. Now this method I'm about to show you does assume that that you know how to read a tape measure. So if you don't know how to do that, back up and watch the couple of videos about that. Um, check in with some other people, get them to help you practice reading a tape and make sure you know how to do that first. Otherwise this method will just be frustrating to you. So I'm just going to show you a really quick one here. So what if we were to do the problem one fourth plus one half? You probably know what the answer to that is, but I just want to use that to show you this method. So what I do is find a fourth, so here's a half, that means that's a fourth, and then if I want to add a half, well we know a half is the same distance from here to here, so that means I'm going to go one fourth and another fourth here. So then here's one fourth plus one half. So it lands us right here, that's three quarters. Ah. Okay, so let's try another one here. So we got 5 sixteenths plus an eighth. So first we got to find 5 sixteenths. The way I do it is I know a quarter is 4 sixteenths. So I go up here to 5 sixteenths. Now we know an eighth is the distance between here and here, which means it's 2 sixteenths. So I start at 5 sixteenths go up two sixteenths, I'm right here, that's a sixteenth under a half, which is under eight sixteenths, so that makes that seven sixteenths. Okay. There's another one here, so this one is fifteen sixteenths plus three eighths. When I look at 15 sixteenths, what I do is know that one inch is 16 sixteenths, so that makes this 15 sixteenths, and eight is two sixteenths, so I'm going to do that once, twice, three times. So now 15 sixteenths plus three eighths, this is one and a quarter, which would be one and four sixteenths, so that's one and five sixteenths. And then you can do it for subtraction problems too, same method. So if I want to do one and a quarter minus three eighths, one and a half, here's one and a quarter minus three eighths. So I know that an eighth is this distance right here. So if I start at one and a quarter minus one, two, three eighths, so that leaves me one eighth below one. So that means that's seven eighths. So it's just a little trick you can use if you do step on your calculator or you just want to do a quick fraction problem. You probably almost always have your tape with you. you pull it out. You can use it as a as a kind of a calculator to do fraction problems.